everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We've got a good one on tap today, and there's going to be two quarterbacks ready to get it done on the gridiron. It's Cutler's Dolphins going up against Rodgers Packers. With that, let's welcome in our fine broadcast team. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. At the oldest continually operating stadium in the NFL as you get a look inside Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay. And this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with the Miami Dolphins. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that can have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. Mason Crosby of the Packers has it teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now, now come the Miami Dolphins. They get set to go on offense. He discussed their quarterback position, Charles, into the offseason. Last year, obviously, it was Jay Cutler. Many thought that's just a one-year placeholder. And Adam Gase says he envisions Ryan Tannehill being the guy next year. I would agree with him totally, and I'd be surprised if anything else actually happened in Miami. If Ryan Tannehill is healthy, he will be the starting quarterback in 2018. They were so excited about his progress and so fired up about what possibilities existed for him in 2017 before the knee injury. Jay Cutler, you nailed it. A one-year placeholder. They did play David Fales a lot in the last game of the regular season to see what he had. But I think there will be competition for the backup job in Miami next year. But definitely not the starter. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A Miami first down. That one going for a gain of 11. They go play action here on first down. His throw incomplete. He was trying to get that one to Kenny Stills. And that'll bring up second down. A look now at the Miami offense. What I've always liked about Julius Thomas that kind of got lost a little bit the last couple of seasons is his basketball background. Remember, he played that in college before becoming a tight end in the NFL. And he's got to get back to that playing above the rim, boxing people out so they can't get to him on pass routes. If he gets back to being that power forward he used to be, I think the returns would be really, really nice for the Miami Dolphins. Back to the air, Tannehill on second down. On the left side, this is Stills. Tannehill finding Stills, and it's a Dolphin first down. So here we go, first and ten now. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's got his man on the crossing route. That's Landry. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. He is, by the way, Jarvis Landry, the man who led the NFL in receptions this last year, 112 of them. The only issue for him, because he did put it in the end zone nine times, and people fear him as a running back after he catches the ball, 
He only averaged 8.8 .8 yards per catch, and that's really down for him. Normally, he gets more after it, but boy, he is a catch machine in the short career he's had. Also had a career-high nine touchdowns in 2017, more than the last two years combined. On first and 10, Tannehill to the right side here, the tight end Thomas. A gain of six there on first. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. <laughs> A first carry for Kenyon Drake. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive. And normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, it looked like the offensive line let him down a little bit. Yeah, allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff him for a loss. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And this is going to be incomplete. You know, every time we talk with people about the most important quality for a quarterback to have in the NFL, what do they usually cite? Arm strength. Yeah, and that's really way down on the list. Accuracy is one of the bigger ones, maybe the foremost one. That's what he needed on that play. And that is no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, that opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. CD, I want to get your thoughts on some potential free agents this offseason before we change the possession here. Now, caution, many of these guys could be resigned, I know, but who are some of them? Kirk Cousins is one. Yeah, we're talking about difference makers. Kirk Cousins at the quarterback position. He's going to be coveted around the league for by quarterback needy teams. Case Keenum had a big year. Could he move? But how about running backs? Le'Veon Bell, Deion Lewis, some pass catchers, Jimmy Graham, Jarvis Landry, Sammy Watkins. And about the guy who goes and gets quarterbacks, Demarcus Lawrence had a monster year for Dallas last season. Yeah, a lot of big names that could be out there as free agents. A first carry here for Ty Montgomery. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. 3-19! They go play action for Montgomery and now Rodgers. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 12 yards there as they move the chains. set of downs here. Rogers going to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Adams. Another nice gain. 16 yards there and a first down again. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. 
Rodgers now on first down. Calling it in, Nelson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 12 more yards there and another first down. That connection with Jordy Nelson coming on the drag route. Hard to believe that he was a walk-on. Yeah, Kansas he, State. It, it's so hard to believe that people missed entirely on him. But how about his ability to work and run any route you need? And that completion is evidence that it doesn't matter what you call, he's going to find a way to get open. Walk-on at Kansas State. Now the locker rooms are named after him there. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. This will be caught at about the five. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Montgomery and he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage back at the six it's a loss of a full three yards and it brings up fourth down and partner in a lot of short yardage situations you'll see the linebackers step up into the gaps what we call mugging the line of scrimmage to make sure they take away all spaces all creases that one worked really well for them they only needed a yard instead went backwards so now on fourth down, Rodgers will give way to Mason Crosby for the field goal try. This is an easy one, 23-yarder. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goal post. And the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. So they get the ball first here in front of the home crowd, under the lights, and they get three points out of it. And there's something about a night game, isn't there? A little extra snap, a little extra crisp in the air. What a terrific way to get things started. A little extra excitement, a little extra dazzle for the home crowd. To the main field goal. Now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. The return will come from Sonoris Perry. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. I want to give a hat tip real quick, Charles, to J.J. Watt before the possession switches here. Walter Payton, NFL Man of the Year. They totaled up how much he helped raise for hurricane relief, $37 million. Incredible. Hurricane Harvey, which really hit the Houston area in a big way, and his original goal was $200,000. So <laughs> congratulations to J.J. Watt and all the people who participated. And Greg Olson of the Panthers, Benjamin Watson of the Ravens, both tight ends also nominated and finalist for the most prestigious award as determined by the NFL, the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. Drake will start the drive on the ground, and he'll find some space up to about the 25. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And let's get a look at the Green Bay defense. Some people think it's trite to say, but it's hard to be great in the NFL. But Nick Perry, he's starting to round into form. Had 12 and a half sacks in his first four years in the league. Had 11 in 2016. Has become a force off the edge for Green Bay. Second down following the run. They stay on the ground with Drake. 
And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. But expanding a little bit on Kenyon Drake, interesting year, because hardly used early on, and Jay Ajayi goes to Philly, and he took over as the Dolphins' lead back after that trade. And was never a lead back in college. He was always that accessory piece who helped him in the special teams as well. So we'll see what the Dolphins decide to do in 2018, see if they give him a little competition at that spot. Tannehill, and that is incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. Trevor Davis, deep for Green Bay. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds. And they'll spot it right at the 20. For the Green Bay Packers, they're coming off a 7-9 season. As their offense makes their way back onto the field. But with that 7-9 season, Charlie, saw their string of eight straight playoff appearances come to an end. It was just weird not to have Green Bay in the playoffs, right? Yeah, you kept searching for them, didn't you? You kept looking down the list. When does Green Bay play in the playoffs? <laughs> because you're so used to it. But with the injury to Aaron Rodgers that knocked him out for so long, the offense really struggled. Finished 26th in the league in total offense. In a lot of ways, remarkable they finished seven and nine. Yeah, and Brett Hundley came in trying to do his thing. I don't think it was much of an indictment on the play of Hundley as it made me appreciate Aaron Rodgers more. I think we all did, and I do believe that the head coach Mike McCarthy was trying to fashion offense and also take care of Brett Hundley in the beginning, and that made things easier for opposing defenses. Second and five. Second down, Montgomery. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Throwing is Rodgers. Finds his target, Montgomery. Give him eight yards on the play, and they pick up the first. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. again here on second and ten. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. So he can't hang on and as I watch that unfold I remembered an expression that I've heard maybe from you I don't know but you're going to get hit anyways might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. is Rodgers on third down. He's going to float this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. 
I like the boldness, and I like that they took a shot downfield, but it was well covered, and he was able to get a hand in and knock it away. On fourth down, here's Justin Vogel on to punt it away. Jakeem Grant back deep for Miami. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So the football switching hands here in just a second. And, you know, Tom Brady, just to go off on a tangent for a second, may have lost the Super Bowl. But third MVP this past season and what he did at age 40, really something, right, Charles? Absolutely phenomenal. Ended up beating out Todd Gurley, the running back for the Los Angeles Rams. But he would have traded it for a Super Bowl win, don't you think? How about this? The last nine NFL MVPs to play in the Super Bowl that same season, 0-9. Oh, yeah. Came all the way back to Kurt Warner in, what, 1999, where he won the double? We were going over that stat earlier. That is hard to believe. But he would have been the MVP had the Patriots pulled that one out. Yeah, he still has five rings, though. Five Super Bowl titles for Brady. The tight end, Julius Thomas, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Second and ten, Tannehill once more. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. I know for us it's fun, and it's not so much fun for the rookie receivers when we see them coming into the league and we're going to training camps. You see them working on getting two feet down instead of one. But the best ones train in college trying to get two down instead of one, so the transition's a little bit less. In this case, though, when they were completed anyway. And he's got some space here. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. down Drake and he'll be tackled right on the midfield logo just what you want on a first down run call it eight yards and it's second and two if these kinds of lanes are available you have to feel like he's gonna have a pretty big game on the ground yeah you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step and that's a big pickup right there on first down down on the 14-yard pickup. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So the offense has it first and 10. Drake off the give from Tannehill. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Well, add that play to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year, 
that's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big time penetration, and throw people for losses. And they're behind the sticks here a bit now, dealing with a second and 12. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go down at the 28. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. The Dolphins on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Red zone opportunity. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this a second and 13. Well, that run wasn't very successful. They did have a big one on the previous play. So you get the sense that the offense is probing around, trying to find the ones that are going to work. And when they find them, they'll keep coming back to them. To throw on second down is Tannehill. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he sacked. Mike Daniels in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big. But sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? typically a blitz and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen that allows your blitzers to get there so after the sack of Tannehill the Dolphins come up here on a third and long from the gun here's Tannehill he's gonna go up top for the end zone and a shot taken on third down, unsuccessful. Fourth down now. Well, it bounced up after taking a sack and took a shot downfield. I think a lot of us thought maybe he'd run draw in that situation instead. Tried to get all back in one play. Yeah, third and long, thought he needed the deep pass, couldn't connect it. Maybe he was hoping for a penalty downfield to give him the yardage they needed. And Parkey's kick is good. And the Dolphins are going to tie the score at three. And Charles, they get the field goal. Took him a dozen plays, though. Work with me on this one. You know what I'm about to say, right? Bend, but don't break. That's what came into play here for the defense. Twelve plays were run at them. They only gave up three points. In a lot of ways, that's a win for the defense. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. 
before the offense changes hands here, let's look back to the Super Bowl February 5th. What a game. I know you were there calling it offensively, though. Impressive on both sides. It certainly was, and let's face it, if you're in Minnesota, it's cold outside, but you talk about the offenses, they heated up in a big way. And how about Nick Foles? The backup quarterback turned MVP. 373 yards, three touchdowns, and of course, the big one receiving on the Philly special. Quite a story. As you and I were talking about off-air, it was just a fluid game. Not a lot of penalties, just really clean play. Exactly the type of game the NFL needed for the audiences at home watching the game, and of course, people in attendance. A really well-played game. On first down, Rodgers. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Andre Branch. In there to sack him for a loss of six. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Draw play, Rodgers to Montgomery. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. They'll get four back there on the run, but now they're looking up at a third and 12 situation. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The Packers on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Trying to lay one up deep. Incomplete. He had his hands on it but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. On now is the Packers punter. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. <laughs> and when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. Before the possession switches here, I had written down that I wanted to talk about some of the awards this past season in the NFL. We know Brady was the MVP, but Todd Gurley, Offensive Player of the Year. How about that for a bounce back? Many were questioning whether he'd had a sophomore slump the season before. Didn't even get to 1,000 yards. Was a dominant force in 2017. How about his teammate Aaron Donald yeah. on the defensive side? He took home Defensive Player of the Year award. Yeah, very impressive. They had both sides of the ball. Sean McVay deserving, I think you would agree, of Coach of the Year. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what he did for the Rams when they went from last in the league in scoring to leading the league in scoring and winning a division title. And how about the New Orleans Saints? Rookie of the year, offense and defense. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Morgan Burnett, and he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield strike. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. From midfield, here's Rodgers. Room here to run. 
And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. for the BYU man. It's Jamal Williams. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. going to give this one to Montgomery. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. So a field goal apiece, that's all we have here in this first quarter. Three all the score. We're back to Lambeau in just a moment. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Packers in possession of the football. They've got a third down and five to start things out. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He's got his target. It's Cobb. And out of bounds right around the 20. Rodgers to Cobb. Good for a Green Bay first. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does. And the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. He's gonna get this one out to his fullback. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. This will be a two yard loss on the play. And it'll be second and 12. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. And I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Second down, here's Rodgers. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Cameron Wake in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team that had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Working from the gun, Rodgers. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be fourth down. If you're a selfish player, and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Back. 
and this one is right down Broadway. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. So we're trading field goals here in the opening half. No breakthrough yet on the touchdown front. We've got a 6-3 game. And really, I like what I've seen from both of these defenses thus far. Both have been a little more aggressive than I expected. And I think that's reflected what we see on the scoreboard, which is no touchdowns to this point. the made field goal. Now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. They'll start the drive with Drake. And he's not even going to get back to the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. Second down, here's Tannehill. Thomas has got it, complete. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The Dolphins on third down. Two for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. Tannehill hands to Drake. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. I like the look that they just showed there. When you come out in a passing formation, spread things out a little bit, makes it really hard to cover the middle of the field, doesn't it? Because yeah. you've got to go out to the perimeter and cover those guys. Yep, exactly. Got some good blocking, too. Helped him pick up the first. again. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. Here's Tannehill now on second down. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the Packers pick it up. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around, and we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Jordy Nelson now trotting back out there on offense. Second quarter here, he has only one catch, but they have the lead. you got to think there's going to be more involved at some point. 
That's what you would expect, but sometimes what defenses do to take away a player of his magnitude, it costs them in other areas. And right now, with them losing, they may have to change their focus, and maybe he will open up a little bit more as the game goes on. Yeah, well, so far, just the single catch. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Rodgers. The left side throw complete to Adams. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Second down. Caught by Nelson left side. And he's brought down. The old connection. Rodgers to Nelson getting Green Bay a first down. here on first down throwing the out route incomplete it's Rodgers and he's going to go out of bounds he takes this one down shy of the 20 back to back nice gains that one for 14 yards and another first I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there and if you're going to give him that much space he's not going to catch the football he's going to run away from me a little bit and that's exactly what he just did there picking up extra yardage down is Rodgers and nearly picked off surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away but it does get away at second down not only did they drop it looked like an interception in the end zone they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum So second and ten here. Watch left, watch left. Tight end to the left, tight end left. Nine, nine, nine. Two, two, eight. Eight. Nine, nine, nine. Montgomery on the counter. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to make it fourth down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. So now on fourth down, Rodgers will give way to Mason Crosby for the field goal try. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And Crosby puts it through. And the lead will increase to six now. It's nine to three. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. Not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though this offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points.
After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. Jakeem Grant now to return. Now a hit and a loose football. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. As that ball got away from him, and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain, and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Mm -hmm. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game. Start this drive with very good field position. Rodgers now on first down. That's complete to his tight end. This is Lance Kendricks. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. The Packers on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This will be third and six. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. So now on fourth down, Rodgers will give way to Mason Crosby for the field goal try. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. And Crosby puts it through, and the lead stretches to nine. It's now 12-3. So no problems there with that one as they're able to put three up on the board. Yeah, it's pretty much a winless night. There's only a very light breeze, so it's a perfect night for kickers. And like you said, no problems with that one. To the made field goal. Now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. This is taken at the three. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Packers pick it up. And they will score. It's a Packer touchdown. A big play there. Taking it in. And the Packers add six to their lead. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. is Mason Crosby for the point after. And that will make this a 16-point lead. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six.
And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Jarvis Landry and company heading back onto the field now. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us, but sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game. He'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Second down, it's Drake. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. An attempt at a deep ball there, and they didn't get it. But boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, try to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. <laughs> On first and ten, here's Rodgers. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I think many people thought Ty Montgomery would automatically go back to being a wide receiver this year, but it appears he's going to stay at running back. I know they drafted Jamal Williams from BYU, but Montgomery proving his worth. And he proved it, yeah, proved it last year. 5.4 yards per carry, fourth best in the league. throwing on second down throw left side complete it's Nelson and getting this just shy of midfield they'll spot it at the 49 that one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks
Rodgers now on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. Rodgers to Montgomery on the draw. And he'll get across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Now Rodgers on third down. It gets it over the middle to Cobb. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Rodgers to throw for it on four. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. But even though they didn't get it, probably the right call. Too long for a field goal and just not a whole lot to gain from a punt there. Yeah, you wouldn't have really netted very much yardage if you pumped the ball, right? And the thing about a field goal, and you know this from so much experience, the longer the field goal, the lower it comes out off the kick, right? Which means it's got a better chance of being blocked. So you're taking a chance either way. I like the fact they went for it. Whistles and a flag, and I believe a Dolphin got going a little early. So that'll back him up five. Still first down. back at the 35. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats, but really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. is Drake and he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43 nine yards on the pickup that time so he got more than half of it back but it's still a third and eight and after that type of a run there's some talking going on down on the field but it's not trash talking the guy who just carried the ball he's going back and telling his offensive line great job keep it up and we'll break that one soon the Dolphins on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and eight. Here's Tannehill. And he finds Stills complete. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup.
handoff for Drake. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. The Dolphins on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. Here it's third and three. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. And they're on third and short. They just tried to spread the field. It worked. And I think that the spreading of the field, the extra receivers, has really become the next in the evolutionary chain in the NFL. Go all the way back in that situation, you're handed to the fullback, right? As we evolve, maybe you pitched it to your tailback. Now you spread the field, and you have your choices of where to throw it and complete it for a first down. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Lambeau following these words. A reminder coming up at halftime. Larry Ridley will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before that. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. That throw good for four. It's second down. Second down is Tannehill. He dumps it off to Drake. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. zone now Tannehill that's caught it's Thomas that he's brought down 15 more there and they're on a roll it's another first down they gave up the completion there but this is what zone defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch touchdown Kenyon Drake taking it in and the Dolphins are able to draw a bit closer I think everyone in the league talks about finishing don't they doesn't matter whether it's a quarter a half a game a series whatever but they're finishing the first half in fine style putting that one in the end zone they did and they didn't leave much time on the clock either well done Cody Parkey is on now for the point after And the lead cut down to nine. Hey, hey, hey. 
A 10-play drive that time. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. First down, Rodgers. In the middle of the field, he's got Nelson. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Second down now after the pass completion. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Caught left side by Kyle. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. To throw is Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Adams. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And welcome back. The offensive unit, they took the timeout. And now they get set to line up as we resume action. The 
the offense lining up first and ten. And again, it's Rodgers. Now look out, Rodgers. Lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. The 30, 10. And this is brought all the way back. A fumble recovery and taken to the house for a Miami touchdown. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. Now Parkey for the extra point. And the lead is down to two. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is fielded a couple yards deep. He'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. the drive and he'll get this one up to the 26 we have hit halftime still two more quarters to go we'll take a timeout we'll be back after this you're watching the nfl and it's on ea sports it's in the game thanks brandon i'm larry ridley and welcome to our ea halftime report the packers are happy to be sitting in the locker room with the lead the dolphins just want to come out after the half and claw their way back into the game all right, let's do this. Here's the first half highlights. Dolphins on offense. First quarter winding down. Daniels got to take down the QB here. This ends up as a huge loss in yardage. Now following the pick, Wake's going to push his way to the QB here. This will go for a loss of seven. have it late in the second. Drake's going to stay between the tackles and he'll end up sprinting into the end zone. The Dolphins down now by nine. All right, LR, thank you, my man. Still anyone's contest, just a two-point game as we get set for the second half. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Set to return, this is Jeff Janis. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. 
The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They have the lead, now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half, that worked okay, but in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit change your tendencies try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half we'll see if they do just that <laughs> throwing on first down rogers and it's a short one here complete to his tight end seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. And the offense still has a couple plays to go to pick up the first on second down and three. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. The Packers on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This time, it's third and three. Shotgun now for Rodgers. It's caught here by Adams. And brought down, but the juke, the very nice juke, gets him the first down yardage there. Rodgers finding Adams for a Packer first. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not the, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. So here we go, first and 10 now. Rodgers to throw once more. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs gonna throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they got a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. Over the middle, complete. It's Cobb. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That catch good for five. It's third down. One thing I can say pretty safely... That route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Rodgers again now. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. On now is the Packers punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively, and now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, tell me. that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker boards? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> 
He'll run with Drake. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll be knocked down sideways. Right at the line of scrimmage. The Dolphins on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and nine. Tannehill. And Stills over the middle. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. And Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Fresh set of downs here. Running, it's Drake. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. You know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. A give to Drake running left. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And they're going to face a third down. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. The Dolphins on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This is third and seven. Tannehill. And he finds Julius Thomas. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And a big third down conversion with a gain of 28. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Now a play fake here on first down. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Offense still needing 10 yards. Second down. Now Tannehill. Packer pressure, and down he goes. 
And I know it seems like we say this a lot in broadcast booths, but a quarterback can hold on to the football too long in these situations. I think he did right there. Oh, I agree with you totally. Sometimes you have to understand situations. Get rid of the football, save some yardage, to make it less to gain for the next down. Instead, he was so hipped on ball security, he held on to it and took a big sack. So after the sack of Tannehill, the Dolphins come up here on a third and long. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Whoosh! And he gets it down to the 32. It'll be a pickup of 12 yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. This offense really put themselves in a tough spot on first and second down and needing long yardage to try and pick up a first down. And they ended up getting a great run. Explosive, picked up nice yardage. You don't expect to be in this situation on fourth down. But guess what? It all started with what happened on first and second down. Really put them behind the eight ball. Now Cody Parkey out to try the field goal. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. And Parkey's kick is good. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. So they don't get a touchdown here on this opening drive in the third quarter, but I think you still say mission accomplished as they come away from it with the lead. Absolutely. You've got to apply the pressure here, make the other guys play catch up for a while, and now you just hope your defense can step up and protect the lead. now following the main field goal to kick this one off. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Well, so much for him being bottled up throughout the day. Finally finds a way to break through and get a really nice gain. The defense had felt great about what they had going. Now they've got to turn their attention to getting it back in that direction. Can they bottle him up again? Because I'd say after that run, confidence is pretty high for him. here on first down into heavy traffic and it's intercepted picked off near the 32 and the return comes to a halt right at the 44 yard line this is such a good read defensively they know that this offense is going to try to get the ball to their playmaker in space so what do they do they crowd him and send bodies at him and this one winds up being intercepted The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, 
that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yep. Run what Put you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down <laughs> and try and increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now it's Tannehill. They'll set up the screen to Drake. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll make it a second down. to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll fake the handoff. Now Tannehill. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. That one goes for 24 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. And now a first down following that long game. Here's Tannehill. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Kenyon Drake. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Yeah, you're so right because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. Now Parkey for the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So that drive spanned five plays, and it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. This is taken at his four. 
And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Aaron Rodgers, he's getting ready to go again here on offense. He'll be kind of looking to erase the first part of this third quarter from his memory partner. I think he, above all, was upset that they actually got to halftime. Because you saw him in the first half. He yeah. was really sharp. And they had good, the lead. Had the lead. Everything was going well. And you know you keep telling yourself, just stay up, stay motivated. But sometimes that halftime can kill your mojo. Yeah, now he's had an interception, a fumble. We'll see what he does here. They'll try to get something going with Ty Montgomery. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. Throwing on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. The Packers on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This is third and ten. Rodgers now to throw. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Andre Branch in there to get him for his second sack of the night. That's his second sack of the game in the best defensive ends. They do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. On now is the Packers punter. He's been terrific so far. <laughs> Just a yard return there after a punt of 49. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically... One guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. On first down, it's Tannehill. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Draw play. Tannehill gives to Drake. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there. And now it'll be third down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play. Holding him to no gain. From the gun on third down, Tannehill. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. 
Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on here to punt it away. This is taken at the 15. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Out comes Ty Montgomery and the rest of his offensive mates to take over. And as we peer at the numbers, he got off to a struggling start, but since then really found his rhythm. And I think that comes together with not just the halftime adjustments, but just that quiet confidence. If you just keep doing the things you've been working on, eventually there will be creases. You know, find those gaps in the defense, keep working on them, and maybe what didn't happen very well for you in the beginning of the game, it starts to open up as the game moves on. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there to swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them. But on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. Rodgers to throw on second down. He gets it over the middle to come. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And an alley to run. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. What a catch and one-handed. And I'm starting to lose my awe about the play. And maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? And those gloves, they do have a little grip to them, they don't they? They get a little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. Rodgers now on first down. That's complete to his tight end. This is Lance Kendricks. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Rodgers. And his throw is incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. And it's third and short. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So third down, just one yard to go. On third down, they go Montgomery. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. 
ended up picking up two. So the offense has it first and ten. Now whistles here, flag down. I think one of the Packer linemen was moving. False start, offense. That's going to set him back five yards. Still first down. Caught on the right side by Adams. Well, that's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. They go play action for Montgomery, and now Rodgers. And Jeff Janis has it complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Got a man. It's his tight end, Lance Kendricks. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Montgomery back to the ground. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, it's a nice running right there. That's what got them the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. And the seemingly endless drive continues. Rogers gonna throw. Touchdown, Packers! Randall Cobb from four yards out. And the Packers move back within a couple of the lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Here's Rodgers to throw. And he's got it. The conversion good, and we are tied in the fourth. 
Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted the tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. This is taken at the three. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Drake will start the drive on the ground. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. They stay on the ground with Drake. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Now that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And the third down pass falls incomplete. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. <laughs> A little juke. 51 yards on the punt there. And out will come the offense as they take over. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Rodgers hands to Montgomery, and it'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. It's Rodgers. Let's it go for Nelson. 
And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by T.J. McDonald. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. So now here come the Dolphins. Here's Tannehill, and he'll get it down to the 47 here. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it's a second down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Drake off the give from Tannehill. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Well, that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And that is incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And an alley to run. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. So it'll be first down here after the run. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game. That'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. On second down, Montgomery looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. And a couple of big boys up front defensively, and in that 4-3, those D tackles so vital. 
extremely vital. I love how you described that because if they control things up front, often it's over the guard. Sometimes they slide and make it over the center. It's really hard to get a play started then because a lot of teams want to start inside out running the football. But against a good 4-3, you may not find any space. And on that play, there was zero space, no gain. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Rodgers handing to Montgomery. And he's going to take it down to about the 35 here. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. So this brings up a second and two. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll make it third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. And here comes play number six on this drive. Now a play fake. Rodgers. And some room to work. Oh, no, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, so much for the four-minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave no time for them to come back and catch them. And guess what? They turned the ball over. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, they had it all set up for themselves, and they let it get away. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. the fumble recovery. Tannehill going for the deep ball. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Devon House. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. getting ready to go as they take the field. And they got across the 50 last time, but fumbled and turned it over, so they'll be looking to have a short-term memory here, Mr. Davis. Not only a short-term memory, but a whole lot better ball security. <laughs> because if they take care of the ball, continue to move it, their chances of scoring some points, they've got to feel pretty good about. They thought they had things moving in the right direction last time. Fumbles, they don't just affect you on offense, they affect your overall team, because now your defense has to make that stand up. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Rodgers. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. 
Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Rodgers will try again on second down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And Adams has it, complete. And he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. They'll run with Montgomery. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. And Brandon, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Second down, here's Rodgers. And he can't corral it. Maybe a big missed opportunity there defensively in the end zone. And now third down. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. From the two-yard line yet again. Let's see what they can do on third and goal. To throw, it's Rodgers. And almost intercepted. Would have been a huge pick in the end zone, but as it stands, that brings up fourth. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion. Force him into going for three and not giving up six. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to break our fourth quarter tie. And Crosby puts it through. And with that, they will move out in front by three. So yet another field goal to end the drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often, but you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. For the made field goal. Now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. This fielded at the two. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33 yard line. Then the Dolphins getting set to go here. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. Go. 
Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. He was looking to get it to Jarvis Landry that time. And now it's second down. The best receivers we know always tease their quarterbacks that, hey, no matter what you do, you cannot overthrow me. Well, guess what? That's exactly what happened on that play. Normally, they time it up pretty well, but on that one, he just overshot him. On second and 10, Tannehill. Going deep here for Parker. It's caught inside the 25. And he takes it down deep into Green Bay territory. A big play, Tannehill to Parker. 49 yards. Well, we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. This game has the feel of, what, a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving day. You know, when we get together this year, when the Davises and the Gardens get together, <laughs> that's what our playbook's going to look like, like they're drawing them up in the dirt. And so far, it's working for both of them. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. On first down, Drake. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. I think a lot of people are a little bit surprised there that they ran the draw after that successful pass play previously. But the thought process had to be, maybe we can catch them rushing the passer and hit something big with the running play. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Right back to Drake. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run it until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. From the gun, here's Tannehill. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. So they decline it as that will bring up fourth. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This from 42 yards out. And Parkey's kick is good. And the Dolphins have tied things up here in the fourth. Well, you talk about clutch right down the pipe, and this game's all even here in the fourth. And he didn't leave much doubt there, did he? Good snap, good hold, and that one was dead center. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. This is fielded at the goal line. Oh, what a move. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. 
It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points yeah, on the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Tie game here. Time starting to run down. The defense really needs to try and keep this game tied. See if they can get the ball back for the offense. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Partners, a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. And at this stage in the game, every play is magnified here as we get down to the nitty-gritty. On play action, now Rodgers. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Throwing now is Rodgers. He's got Adams on the hookup. And he is out of bounds, getting it just shy of the 35. The 12 yards that time and picking up the first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. going to give this one to Montgomery. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Draw play, Rodgers to Montgomery. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. Rodgers looking to throw on third and two. In the middle of the field, he's got Nelson. A pickup of five that time and a first down. Back to throw, Rodgers. Despite the heavy running, he'll be hit and drop shy of the 45. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll be second down. Clock running, about to hit 90 seconds to go in the game. Now Rodgers. And he's going to go out of bounds. He takes this one down shy of the 20. A really nice gain of 25 yards. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays.
Richie's an honor. Now whistles here, flag down. I think one of the Packer linemen was moving. False start offense. And yeah, that'll set him back five. First and 15 here behind the chains. Following the penalty, Montgomery. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. fourth quarter of play. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath and now they're back out and ready. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This for the lead in the final stages. And Crosby puts it through. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Now, it's hard to put your finger on whether this is something to celebrate or something maybe the offense is embarrassed by, but that's now six field goals he's made in this game alone. Yeah, he's bailed them out quite a bit so far. But it's very comforting to know that you have a kicker that's got your back. field goal. Now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. Fielded about a yard deep. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard at the 21-yard line. Here comes Ryan Tannehill now leading his offense back out there. This is something we've seen many times over the course of his career. Can he pull off another fourth-quarter comeback? 
And it's very strange, isn't it? Because when it's a player of this magnitude, even though the guys on defense have the lead and are sitting in the best spot, they're maybe the most nervous people in the stadium because they've seen this happen to too many people before, too many teams. They've got to find a way to shut him down. Here we go again for the grizzled vet. He's back to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Devontae Parker was the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. Back to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. He'll look to throw. And incomplete here on third down. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. They'll look to throw. And he finds Stills, complete. It's a pickup of three that time. And it's first down Miami. First down now, but that clock rolling. Spikes it with just a shade under a half a minute left. 29 seconds on the clock. Complete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. Now it's Tannehill. And now he lost the football. Tannehill loses it. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. Desperation time for Tannehill on fourth down. And some space here. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll do for us. My partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men that went on our group. I'm Brent God. You can watch EFL here on EA Sports. Packers are with us here. We say so long, Lambeau.